I planned the ultimate Disney Christmas, but my girlfriend's ex demanded I pay for his family's trip. Now I might be spending the holidays alone. I was ready to make this Christmas unforgettable. A surprise Disney trip for Ashley's kids. A first family vacation. But everything spiraled when Ashley's ex wanted in. He couldn't afford our plans. So suddenly, I was expected to downgrade and foot the bill. Then, the kicker. My money should cover an extra room for him, his wife, and their kid. I refused. The tension exploded. I handed over the tickets, canceled everything, and now I'm left wondering if I made the right choice, or if I'm about to be single for the holidays. Maybe it will be ex-girlfriend soon. Ashley and I have been together for three years. Her kids are nine and twelve. I get along with them, and they are good kids. I'm not their dad, but they are polite and respectful. My parents have bought them Christmas and birthday gifts ever since they met. I had a good year, and I wanted to do something nice for the kids. Ashley and I talked about it, and we were going to take the kids to Disney World over Christmas. The problem is that her ex wants to pitch in and come as well with his wife and their kid. I don't really want to go on a holiday with this guy and his family. I talked to Ashley, and I said I would prefer if it was just us, since this is our first big family holiday. She said that her ex really wanted to be there for the kid's first trip to Disney. We argued, and I gave in. Then the plan was told to me. He really can't afford to stay where we were going to stay, so he and Ashley decided that I should change our reservation and stay somewhere cheaper. Fine. I don't really care. I wanted to treat the kids to something awesome, but as long as we stay somewhere nice, then in happy. We chose a good neighbor hotel at Disney Springs. It's nice and still allows for early entrance and has character events and such. It turns out that what was supposed to happen was I cancel our reservations at the Grand Floridian and use the money to pay for an extra suite at the other hotel. Their idea of him pitching in was paying for flights for his wife and kid. I said, duck no. Ashley said that the kids really want their dad there. I said that he was welcome to take them. She said I was being cheap since I could afford to do this. I can, but that's not the point. I do not want to do this. I can afford to do a lot of things. I only do them if I want to do so. We had a big fight, and No gave her the tickets for her and the kids to go, and I canceled the flights and hotel. Now she is mad at me because she went through all the trouble and expense of getting the kids' passports and luggage and stuff. I told her to tell me what that cost, and I will reimburse her. Her ex called me to say I was being a prick and hurting his kids. I said it probably hurt them more when he had a kid with another woman and left their mom to go be with her. I don't think I'm in the wrong here, but maybe an outside opinion would help. Thanks. Piss. Her ex is a manipulative POS. He still tries to control her, and I'm sick of it. Update 1. All right. So here's where things went from bad to worse. After I handed Ashley the tickets and canceled the rest of the trip, I thought that would be it. Like, okay, it sucks, but at least the kids could still go and have a good time with their mom, even if I wasn't part of it. But apparently, that wasn't enough. Ashley kept giving me this cold, passive-aggressive vibe, and I was just trying to figure out if we were even still together. Then, out of nowhere, her ex decides to involve himself even more. The guy calls me again, but this time it's not to complain about me being cheap or whatever. He says he and Ashley talked, and he's got a compromise for me. Get this, he offers to split costs for a rental car or something. I'm sitting there thinking, how is that even a compromise? Dude wanted me to shell out for an extra hotel room and everything else for his whole family, and now he's acting like chipping in for a rental makes it fair. I told him no, again and hung up. Then Ashley texts me, saying I need to think about what's best for the kids. At this point, I'm just frustrated because I was thinking about the kids when I planned this whole thing. I wanted to give them a cool Christmas memory, something they'd never forget. But now it feels like everyone's trying to guilt trip me into paying for something I don't want to be a part of. A few days go by, and Ashley finally sits down with me to talk. She starts off saying she understands why I'm upset, 
but then flips it around to how this isn't just about me and how the kids would be heartbroken if their dad wasn't there. She even tried to frame it like I was being selfish for not wanting to share the experience. I told her straight up that I wasn't comfortable with her ex tagging along, especially when it's my money funding everything. She hits me with, well, it's not like you're their real dad anyway. That one stung. I know I'm not their dad, but I've been there for them for three years, supporting them in every way I could. After that, I decided to take a step back and really think about things. I started wondering if this whole situation was a one-off or if it's a pattern. Her ex seems way too involved in her life, and it's clear he knows how to push her buttons to get what he wants. And honestly, I feel like she lets him. It's one thing to co-parent, but this guy seems to think he can still dictate everything. The kids came up to me the next day asking why we weren't going to Disney anymore. I told them the truth, but in a way, they could understand. I said, sometimes adults don't agree on things, and we couldn't make it work this time. They seemed disappointed, but they didn't blame me. I could tell they were more upset with the whole situation than with me specifically. Here's where it gets interesting. I found out through a mutual friend that Ashley and her ex were talking about going on the trip without me, using the tickets I gave her. The plan was for him to pay for his flights and some of the extra costs, and she'd cover the rest. She didn't even tell me. I confronted her about it, and she tried to downplay it like it wasn't a big deal. She said she just didn't want the kids to miss out, but I felt like she was crossing a line. Those were my tickets. I told her if she wanted to go with her ex so badly, she could figure it out on her own, but I wasn't going to be a part of it. At this point, I was done. I told her to give me the tickets back or I'd cancel them outright. She started crying, saying I was ruining Christmas for the kids, but I told her this whole mess wasn't on me. I tried to do something nice, and all it did was blow up in my face because she and her ex couldn't respect boundaries. I canceled the tickets. Yep. The whole thing. Flights, park reservations, everything. I felt bad for the kids, but I wasn't about to fund a trip for her ex's family while being treated like an ATM. Ashley was furious, calling me selfish and immature, but I honestly don't care anymore. I told her if she wanted to go to Disney with her ex so badly, she could pay for it herself. Now, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what to do next. I don't think this relationship is going to survive. It's clear we have very different ideas about what's okay and what's not. I care about her and her kids, but I can't keep putting myself in situations where I feel disrespected and used. Her ex? He's still texting me, calling me all kinds of names. I blocked him. Not dealing with that anymore. As for Ashley, we haven't spoken much since the cancellation. She's still mad, and honestly, so am I. I tried to do something special, and now it feels like I'm the bad guy for standing my ground. Guess I'll be spending Christmas alone this year. Maybe I'll go visit my parents or take myself on a trip instead. At least then, I won't have to deal with any of this drama. Update 2 Alright, so after the whole Disney fiasco blew up and I cancelled everything, I figured that was the end of it. I was ready to move on, let Ashley and her ex deal with their mess, and just enjoy my holiday solo. But nope. Drama wasn't done with me yet. Things got messier than I ever thought they could. A week after I canceled the trip, Ashley calls me out of nowhere, sounding all calm, like she wants to talk. I wasn't sure if this was going to be an apology, or just more of her trying to convince me I was in the wrong. Turns out, it was neither. She wanted to work things out, but only if I agreed to some new terms. Basically, she wanted to plan another trip, not Disney this time, but still some big family vacation, and still with her ex included. I told her flat out, no, that's not happening. She started going on about how co-parenting means including him in big moments like this, and how it's not fair for the kids if I don't get on board. I said, it's not co-parenting when you're expecting me to pay for everything. She didn't have much to say to that, except for some excuse about how he's trying his best financially. I told her I'm not his backup wallet, 
and she can't keep asking me to sacrifice my boundaries for his benefit. That's when she hit me with something I didn't expect. She said, well, maybe this isn't going to work if you can't handle the dynamic. Handle the dynamic? What does that even mean? I told her if by dynamic she means me funding her ex's lifestyle and letting him bulldoze my plans, then yeah, I can't handle that. She got quiet for a minute, then just said, Maybe we need some space. Fine by me. I was already halfway out the door emotionally, and this just solidified it. Here's where the plot twist kicks in. A couple of days after that conversation, I get a message from a mutual friend. She says she needs to tell me something, but she's not sure how. I tell her to just spit it out, and she says, Ashley and her ex have been a little too close lately. Like, not just co-parenting close, borderline back together close. At first, I didn't believe it. I thought, no way. Ashley's mad at me for not including this guy. She wouldn't actually get back with him. But then the friend drops a bomb. Apparently, Ashley's been spending a lot of time at his house under the excuse of discussing the kid's needs. I wasn't sure what to think, so I did something I don't usually do. I snooped. Ashley left her laptop open one night when she came over to pick up some stuff. I know it's not the most ethical move, but I needed answers. What I found was not great. Messages between her and her ex, talking about how they miss the old days and how they're grateful for this chance to reconnect. Reconnect? Are you kidding me? Eh, I didn't say anything to her right away. I needed to process it first. But honestly, it felt like everything clicked into place. Her pushing so hard to include him in the Disney trip. Her taking his side over mine. The weird amount of time they've been spending together. It all made sense now. A couple of nights later, she came over again, acting like nothing was wrong. I couldn't hold it in anymore. I told her I knew about the messages, and I wanted to know what was really going on between her and her ex. She tried to deny it at first, but when I showed her the screenshots I took, yeah, I went there. She broke down. She admitted they've been talking about possibly giving things another shot for the kid's sake. I just stared at her, trying to wrap my head around it. Three years of being there for her and her kids, and now she's thinking about getting back with the guy who left her for someone else? I told her I wasn't going to stick around and be some placeholder while she figured out her feelings. She tried to argue, saying it's complicated and she didn't mean for things to get messy, but I was done. I packed up the few things she still had at my place, handed them to her, and told her to figure out what she really wanted, because clearly, it wasn't me. Now, I'm officially single for the holidays, and honestly, it's a relief. No more walking on eggshells, no more dealing with her ex's drama, no more feeling like I'm being taken advantage of. I've been talking to my family about spending Christmas with them, and they're all for it. My parents are even planning a little getaway to a cabin in the mountains, and I think I'm going to join them. As for Ashley and her ex, I don't know what's going to happen there, and frankly, I don't care. If they want to play happy family again, that's on them. I just know I'm not sticking around to watch it unfold. Looking back, I think I dodged a bullet. It sucks because I really cared about her and the kids, but this whole situation showed me where I stood in her life, and it wasn't where I thought.